Welcome back. Our external clean block is one of the truncal regional analgesia technique that I am lecturing on. And this is Dr. Terkawi. I'm currently an assistant professor at the Department of Anesthesiology, Perioperative and Pain Medicine in Stanford University. I hope you watch the first lecture, which is the fundamentals of the truncal regional analgesia that cover all the basic and applied anatomy. And then as you see here, um, I'm covering uh, all up-to-date available chest wall and abdominal wall um, blocks. So hopefully you still remember this from the anatomy lecture, but just uh, quickly to go over this because it's relevant. So this is the um, spinal nerve uh, the trunk in the truncal in the truncal area, mainly between T2 and T12. So as you see here, everything starts uh, uh, from the spine, ventral and dorsal roots uh, union together to form the spinal nerve. And the spinal nerve uh, bifurcate to the ventral or anterior rami, which continue as the intercostal nerve, or the dorsal or posterior rami, the ventral uh, or intercostal nerve branches give two branches lateral almost mid axillary and anterior the lateral give farther branches to anterior and posterior and the anterior cutaneous branch farther branch to lateral and medial here at the back um, the dorsal give a medial branch and lateral branch and some references mission uh, intermediate branch and the lateral, the medial branch farther divided to posterior cutaneous branches. So what is more relevant here is when your uh, uh, intercostal nerve uh, branches to anterior uh, uh, cutaneous uh, branch. So the anterior cutaneous branch here as we saw in the previous slide, uh, just close to the sternum, the intercostal uh, uh, continue as anterior cutaneous branch, and the anterior cutaneous branch branches as medial branch and lateral branch. So, very important to notice here. So, this is the sternum, and uh, a few important muscles here, starting by the from deep to superficial, we have the, the uh, transversus thoracis muscle, and there is the vessels and nerve above that, and the muscle above is the intercostal or internal intercostal uh, muscle. So as you see here, the intercostal nerve going and then uh, goes up to give the anterior branch and then uh, almost at the level between or at the uh, compartment or facial plane between the internal intercostal muscle and pectoralis muscle it bifurcate about here to lateral and medial branch this is very important and we will see why so to do a parasternal plane block, first you need to position the patient in a supine position, use a linear transducer, and then put the probe, I will show you in a, in a second, sag, in a sagittal position, just lateral to the sternum, identify, it is important to identify the internal memory artery and vessels to avoid injuring them. And then, we have two approaches. We have the superficial and the deep approaches. The superficial, the other name, as which make perfect sense, is the pectoral, uh, uh, sorry, pecto intercostal facial plane block. So you need to advance the needle in plane into the interfacial 
compartment between the pectoralis major and intercostal muscle. And then you, you can give five mL of local anesthetic and watch them uh, uh, spread and separating the two muscles. The deeper approach, which is also called the uh, transversus thoracic plane block, obviously from uh, take the name from the muscle. So you have to go to the next interfacial plane um, between the intercostal muscle and the transversus thoracis muscle, targeting the neurovascular plane. Um, very much like when we do uh, the intercostal nerve block in the back. Um, it is important to see the internal mammary vessel in this approach because you can injure it and you can cause uh, significant uh, bleeding. So uh, this is why it's um, advised, I think, I think it's safer to go in plane um, instead of going uh, sagittal you can go uh, um, horizontal. Um, I think this obviously a safer approach when you are doing uh, uh, a block for, for, for surgical pain. Uh, however, what I think um, the advantage of this here, you have a nerve that you can target to do radiofrequency ablation or cryotherapy for uh, chronic pain. Obviously, there is a higher risk of bleeding and pneumothorax. Now, so what we are blocking here is the anterior branch of the intercostal nerve, whether you go uh, with the superficial or with the deep uh, approach, uh, uh, you should catch the medial and lateral uh, subbranches. Now, indication um, acute pain, um, uh, sternotomy pain after cardiac surgery, thymectomy, uh, as well as sternal fracture. In chronic pain, um, things like costochondral pain, for example, costochondritis, or I have a couple of patients with slip trip syndrome also, uh, I found it um, helpful. Contraindication, uh, generally, like patient refusal, allergy to local anesthetic, infection at the site of the procedure, and bleeding disorders. Complication, pneumothorax, injection to the internal mammary vessel with significant bleeding, and of course, infection. Now, let's look here at some ultrasound pictures. So, if you put your um, ultrasound probe here, uh, horizontal, uh, and just lateral to the sternum, and you look from above to below. So you have superficial to deep, you have this, the skin, and then you have the pectoralis um, major, the internal uh, uh, intercostal, and at the end, the transversus thoracis, and of course, after that, pleura and lung. So this is the superficial, and this is the deep, uh, approach. So, transverse view, as you see here, so this is the sternum, and you have here the pectoralis, and then this small one here is the internal intercostal, and underneath that, the transversus thoracis. So, right here at the corner, you will see the artery, the vein, uh, and um, next to it, you will see uh, the nerve. Well, if you do parasagittal um, view, now here we are talking about uh, costal cartilage, which is um, the end of the rib. So think about this um, that way. Uh, now, obviously you have more um, steeper angle here if you want to go and you can go either again superficial or uh, deep, but I think I think um, it's okay to do the superficial in the parasagittal view. I think it's easy, but again, when you are doing deep um, approach, I would recommend to do the transverse view. Uh, here is another picture. Um, again, this is a uh, transverse uh, probe. 
and as you see here um, you see the uh, vasculature here and um, the nerve should be around here um, when uh, we do parasagittal again uh, same uh, picture so this is for the superficial right there and when you want to do the deep it will be uh, right here okay um, one more picture here just to uh, show you uh, uh, the local anesthetic so all this is local anesthetic and obviously uh, this is your needle and you see how the pectoral is major raising up um, few more uh, pictures just to uh, uh, have a bit uh, the best idea here again uh, this is ribs and um, uh, uh, the, the chondral uh, uh, edge and these are the, the three layers and you see the needle here and the local anesthetic this is the deep uh, uh, block thank you for watching